What's up, family? Peace and blessings, man. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We are back with another video, man. This one's going to be about seven signs someone in their life is a demon. This is part two. I made part one almost a year ago. A lot of people have been asking me to make this video again. Here you have it. New knowledge, new information, new wisdom. Ooh, straight from the Holy Spirit. Oh, man, this one's about to be a classic. All right. So number one sign. The number one sign. This is the main sign. The number one sign to look for when someone is being used by Satan. Okay. A demon's main goal is to feed off your energy to drain your life force, okay? Demons are attracted to your life. So you got to understand this. You know, one thing I learned about these demons, a lot of you guys know this too. You ever try to ignore a demon, right? Let's say maybe you're, you're giving the energy to them, right? Going back and forth and whatever, right? But then you're just all right, like, you know, like, I'm tired of this, man. You, you see it's getting nowhere, so you ignore it. And you ever notice when you ignore the demon, now the demon gets really more mad because it's not getting your energy no more. It's not feeding off your energy no more. So the quickest, when you see these signs, you know, the Bible says in, um, in Matthew chapter 12, verse 43 to 45, talks about seven spirits coming into people. So people got multiple demons. It's not just one. So you got to put an S in it. Demons, okay? So it's multiple. They got the spirit of, um, of wrath, the spirit of hate, the spirit of jealousy, the spirit of envy, all these demonic spirits in them. Okay, and they're trying to push that that demonic energy onto you. Okay, and you notice the minute you ignore them, the minute you're not paying no mind, no attention. Okay, just doing your own thing, moving forward. You know, and it's like the demon then doesn't like that. Oh, <laughs> you got it because it's no longer feeding off your energy. And the one thing that the demon does, the one thing that the demon does, guys, when it sees that you're not, you're not, um, the hate's not getting into you to no more. Maybe it did in the beginning, but like now you're like, dude, I'm I'm over it, right? And then now the what the demon does is start spreading lies because the hate don't work. So the next thing they got to do is start to spread lies in your name. But always understand this. All you people who are children of God, that if the lies get exalted, the truth will also too. God will make sure the truth will prevail. So if anybody who's lying on you, hating on you, you don't need to go back and forth. The, God, the most high God will answer in due time. And everybody who, who believe the lies, who believe the rumors, who believe the rumors, they're all good to see. They're all good to see. So this is why, guys, you never go back and forth with a, with a demon, with a demonic spirit. When you see someone being used by Satan, okay, the best thing that you could do is understand spiritual laws and pray for your enemies. Because this is what us followers of Christ were called to do. Pray for our enemies. Because some people, guys, they don't know. Some people know they're being used, but some people, they, they don't. The people who know they're being used are just full of pride, so much ego, and they're able to be used, okay? So always want to make sure, guys, the, the enemies that are coming your way, always be praying for them. I know it's not easy to do that. It's not easy to forgive, uh, but that's what we're called to do, you know? All right, so number two is demons love to provoke you to anger and wrath, to get you to go out of character. They feed off your negative emotions and reactions, okay? So you got to understand this, right? When a demon is trying to get you to go out of character, right, to, to cause you to rage, to cause you to get anger, you know, to get you to go out of character, right? And like um, they, they spreading gossip and, and, and uh, lies and slander and and drama, all this type of stuff, right? That's witchcraft that they're doing on you. They're casting a spell onto you. And like I said, guys, when you when you ignore it, the demon in them gets more mad because they're no longer feeding off your energy. So always keep this in mind, man. They love when you whenever you see someone try to just they're trying to provoke you, and you got to be careful, guys, because there's people, guys, who are facing life in prison right now, life in jail, because they allowed the demon to provoke them to anger and wrath. Now and, and they reacted to it in a negative way. And now they're in jail. Right now, guys, there's, a, there's millions of people all throughout the world, guys, who allowed the demon to get them to rage out, you know, to get them to go out of character. And now they're, they're paying the price. And I don't want you guys to pay the price, too. I don't want people watching this. So understand this, guys. Whenever you see the Spirit, through your discernment, through the Holy Spirit, that's giving you the wisdom and knowledge to see that these spirits are working through them to get to you, okay? Always understand that, man. It's just a demon using, like I said, the best thing that we could do it's just pray for them. Pray that they see the deception. Pray that they see that they're being used. You know, now, of course, they are children of Satan out here. Those who don't have love for their brother, the Cain's out here. Okay, those people, they're going to do what they do because they're, they're just, uh, their father of the devil. They're going to continue doing the will of their father, Satan, not God, you know, Satan. So, um, yeah, so always keep that in mind, man. They feed off your negative reactions, your negative emotions, okay? You know, gossiping about you, slandering God. It's all witchcraft, guys, I'm telling you. All witchcraft and best believe all the all the spells that are casting on you, all the witchcraft, all the manipulation, it's gonna backfire on them. Best believe it.
best believe it, all, all that demonic energy they're pushing on you, it's going to backfire to them. It's spiritual laws. In life, you reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. This is why, I, this is why the Bible says too, never seek revenge. Never seek to get even with somebody. And there's people in jail right now, guys, because they, say, they saw out their own revenge. They didn't want to wait on God. Because when you, when you wait on God to judge, it's, it takes time. It don't, it don't always just happen. Now, sometimes it happens like this, but you know, it takes time. Even when it came to Judas, what Judas did to Christ, okay, Judas wasn't destroyed the same day. Okay, it even says in the Bible that Judas bought a piece of land with the money that he, uh, he used to turn him in. He bought a piece of land. Okay, I'll leave Bible verses throughout the scriptures, okay? Uh, even uh, what happened with uh, Samson and Delilah. Now, of course, Samson was, you know, given into lust, so he, he had to reap what he sowed too. But Delilah was destroyed too, all throughout the Bible, guys. So judge, wait on God, wait on the Most High, and he will, he will do what he does. He will judge accordingly, all right? So that's number two. Number three, okay, before a devil slash demon exposes them themselves okay now this is the true followers of christ will be warned okay the true followers of christ will be warned now i believe that everybody will be warned but those who are followers of christ you will see because this is biblical before judas turned in christ uh before judas it was it uh you know being a devil right uh, god showed his son god showed jesus what was going to happen before it happened and, you know, uh, Jesus called it out in the supper when they were eating. He called it out. He said, one of you is a devil. And they all looked around like, who is, who is it, right? But Jesus, Jesus was playing dumb. He acted like he didn't know. <laughs> he acted like he didn't know. But he knew the whole time. And, and Jesus was looking around. I bet you Jesus was like, like who, who's he talking about? Nah, it ain't me, bro. It ain't me. I guarantee you. He's like, yeah, no, nah, it's, it's, it's you. It's, he's probably pointing for you. It's you. It's you. <laughs> I'm telling you. So God showed Jesus who Jesus was. Okay, uh, John chapter uh, 6 verse uh, 70 talks about, have I not chosen uh, you, are uh, you 12, and one of you is a devil? So uh, God, the Most High, the Father, showed the Son prophetically what was going to happen, who, whose true colors were, okay? And this is what happens, the devils and demons in your life in due time, in due season, the people who you broke bread with, the people that y'all ate, maybe y'all preached the gospel together, y'all were ministering together, um, Whatever the case may be, y'all go into the gym or whatever, right? In due time, they're going to be exposed. But remember, always understand that it's all part of the plan. One thing I learned in life, the only way, sometimes, the only way you get to that next level is through a new devil. It's through, just like in the video games you play, the bosses we have to defeat, okay? You got to, and one thing about these, these video games, right, and these bosses, the next boss is always bigger than the next boss. And I realized all the devils that came my way, right? The new devil... That, that appears to me was is stronger, wiser, smarter than the last devil. And so you guys see how this works? You got it's just like in the video games. The, the, the next level, the next boss is gonna be stronger, wiser. All this, all this, right? Uh stronger than the last boss. So be cautious of that. New guys, it's, it's part of the plan. It's part of the plan, man. So you and it's just like how even though what Judas did, even what Peter did, even that was kind of shady, what Peter did. All part of the plan, right? Uh, number four is someone who's possessed by a demon will have an unhealthy obsession over you, okay? This is what we call the modern spirits. Modern spirits stalk and watch the chosen ones, the righteous. It even talks about this in Psalms 37 to 32. The wicked watch the righteous and seek to slay him, okay? Satan's, uh, the wicked, Satan's children, they watch, they monitor you, they stalk you, they watch you. And they seek to slay, they seek to destroy you, destroy your character, destroy what you built, etc. So that's, that's what the wicked do. This is what we call monitoring spirits. This is what we call spiritual warfare. So the demons, they have an unhealthy obsession with you. Even, man, there's even some demons in my life in the past, right? Who told me that they were a child of Satan. But in the beginning, they, you know, they were talking about God, reading the Bible, right? So I, you know, so I was like, oh, okay, cool. My discernment wasn't that sharp yet, right? And once they betrayed me, right? They apologize. They, they, they reached out to me and apologized. And then I said, you know, me as saying, me being who I am, I, I'm sorry to whatever I did to you. I'm sorry. Hey, we move on. Life goes on. Two weeks later, two weeks later, now it's just, you know, it's like, it's like the demon manifests the guy. Well, did reach out to them, just moving forward, you know, uh, maybe fasting and praying, getting my spirit right, understanding my flaws and my imperfections, things I got to work on. Now that demon's just slandering and going crazy, <laughs> going crazy. The unhealthy obsession, they just can't help it. They got to feed off your light, which goes into number one, to drain your life force, to suck you dry. 
They want to see you destroyed because the demon in them, they know that they're going to hell. They're going to hell and they want you to go there with them. It's misery loves company, guys. Misery loves company. The demon of them wants you to go to hell and they see that hey, you repented, that you humbled yourself, that you're seeking salvation through Jesus Christ. The demon of them don't like that. They don't like that, man. So they want to see you. They want to see you taken out of the game, man. But like I said, guys, truth will always prevail. Whenever you see the lies getting pushed about you, the hate, all that, just know God will, will handle. He will handle accordingly. Okay, these are the spiritual laws, all right? So that's number five. Or sorry, that was number four. Number five is demons like manipulating you to act off emotions. They take pleasure. You got to understand this. They take pleasure to see you live against God's will. Demons will, will win back and forth. And they will, uh, sorry, demons will win back and forth uh, battles due to experience, okay? The reason you'll never win going back and forth with a demon because that demon has experience, has wisdom, has knowledge to being a demon. To being a low vibrational, low frequency spirit. You being a chosen one, you being a child of God, right? You don't know, you know, Wow, we, we, we all had a lifestyle before we gave our life to Christ where we were living in sin, but we don't have the experience as these demons do, right? As in terms of going back and forth and try to destroy someone and all that. We don't have that experience, but that demon has, has history, has experience with destroying other people. So now they want to destroy you. You know, so always keep this in mind, man. You never want to go back and forth with a demon. Be the bigger person. Like I said, guys, God will always have the final say. God will always have the final say. So there's no need to go back and forth. None of that. Right. So always keep this in mind, man. They love manipulating. You know, all manipulation, manipulating you out of your emotions. That's a witchcraft. They're, kind of, they're trying to throw a spell onto you. All right. They take pleasure to see you live against God's will. They take pleasure in that. Like I said, guys, they're going to hell and they want you to go to hell with the misery loves company, crabs in a bucket, all right? So always keep that in mind. And this, when this happens, guys, when they see you, when they see you, you know, falling into sin and you know, staying down, because we all fall into sin, right? But we, the righteous get back up. When you don't get back up, that demon takes pleasure in seeing you suffering, seeing you miserable, seeing you, you, you in poverty, seeing you just, just totally destroyed. It takes pleasure. So you should use that negative emotion they're throwing onto you and all that witchcraft to, to transmit it to something positive, to go hard for the kingdom of God. That demon doesn't want you to see, uh, see you doing the will of God, keeping his commandments, living a lifestyle of repentance, you, you know, providing for your family, doing what you got to do as a man of God or, or a woman of God. They don't want to see you doing that. No, no, no. So you should transmit that energy to do something positive, to go harder for the kingdom of God. Because that's what it's all about, guys. Kingdom of God. All, all of us who belong to him, seeking out his, his, uh, his righteous daily and seeking out the Father in a, in a humble spirit. All right, number six is when you, as I was talking about earlier, when you ignore a demon, they will now spread lies and rumor because they see that you're not reacting to it. When the hate don't work, they spread lies. I know all of you guys can relate to this, right? If the lies get pushed, God will make sure the truth will prevail. This is why I was, I was talking about this one, number one. Just always understand that, man. This has happened all the time when it comes to these demons, right? And the lies get exalted and you're like, well, what the heck? Like, like, well, you know, why? And, but you got to understand, man. In due time, you will see as long as you cleave into God. You see, it's like I said, guys, sometimes God will allow certain situations. Maybe you, you were led astray. Maybe you, uh, by, you know, maybe you weren't doing the will of God no more. And maybe you were doing it, but you weren't doing it according to how God wanted you to do it. Because remember, God says that he gave us talents. He gave certain men five talents. And he gave certain man two talents. And if he give, and you know, much is given, much is required. So if he's giving you five talents and you're not going as hard as he called you, he will allow sometimes the demonic forces to take place just to get you to get back up and to go harder. He will allow this stuff, man. He will allow it. Okay. So that's number six. Number seven, a demon slash satanic agent goal is to destroy and to relu to ruin your relationship with God and Jesus. Okay. Get you to be a slave to sin. This is what it's all about, man. To get you to be a slave to sin again and call spiritual D-E-A-T-A -E to be an algorithm friendly. Okay? This is, this is what the main goal of a demon is. Okay, now of course the main goal is to drain your energy, but this is like this is the this is the final goal. Okay. Is to get you to be a slave to sin, right? So, so you're no longer doing the will of God. Okay, and also to call spiritual assassination. I'll just say that. Spiritual assassination. But the demon gotta understand, according to the book of Romans, chapter 8. Verse 34 to 35, who could separate us from the love of God? Okay, who shall separate us from the love of God? 
Absolutely nothing. So when you're truly a child of God, when you're tr truly chosen and your name is written in the book of life, nobody can separate you from the love of God. Maybe, yeah, maybe you may fall into sin. Maybe you may fall short, just like we all do, okay? But you get back up and you learn from your mistakes and you blame nobody but yourself. This is how we get better in Christ and in God, take accountability, own up to our faults and our, you know, whatever the case we got to work on in our spirit, okay? And always keep that in mind, right? So these are the seven signs. Part two, that someone in your life is a demon. If you guys want to watch part one, I'd probably leave it on the end screen here or leave it in the description. If you guys made it this far, like the video, subscribe to the channel, share, share, share so people could be informed. I love you guys so much. God bless you all. Peace.